Hey there, I'm Laura Roeder, and today I want to show you how to use the Flow Player plugin to get videos to show up on your WordPress website. This is a topic request that I got from a Dash reader, and I'm happy to make a video for you about it today. So let's start by explaining what Flow Player is. Flow Player is something that you use to put a video player on your website. So you would use Flow Player if maybe you have a video that you don't want to be on a public site like YouTube uh, for whatever reason, maybe because it's private, maybe because it's password protected, maybe it's too long for YouTube and you need to host it somewhere else. That's what you would use something like Flow Player for. Now what you have to understand about Flow Player is they don't host your video. It's simply a way to play a video on a website. So you're going to need another service. In this example, I'm going to show you how to do it with Amazon S3, which is a really popular service for hosting a video. I recommend S3. I love it because it's a really low cost way to host files like videos for your website. So let's get started. So the first step is to install the WordPress plugin. The one I recommend is called FV WordPress Flow Player. Again, that's the letter is FV WordPress Flow Player. So you're going to go into your WordPress website. You're going to go in the plugin section and search for this plugin. And here it is. I already have it installed on my site, so it's showing up as installed. But you'll see right here FV WordPress Flow Player, and then you'll click Install Now. So you see in this example to install it. Okay, so you've got you've got it installed, you've got it activated. The next step is to find the video or to upload your video. So you can see here I'm logged into my interface for Amazon S3. Uh, they finally got a web interface where you can see all your different video files. So you can go to their web interface, you can upload it here. It's really important to make the video public. So let's see, which is the one I was using as the example? Oh, yeah, Early Bird. You're gonna right click on it and click on Make Public. So whenever you wanna embed a video on your website, you have to make that a public video, otherwise it won't work. So this is a really common place where people get error messages. So again, in this S3, you're gonna right click it and click on Make Public. It'll ask you if you're sure, and you're going to hit OK. Okay, so we've got our video uploaded to S3. We've got our plugin installed. Now let's make a post to show the video. So if you go over to FV WordPress Flow Player in your settings, so that's over here, uh, you'll probably have it on the uh, bottom left side of your WordPress interface that lists all your plugins. So you click on it down there and it'll show you this page where you get to choose how to play the video. They have an example right here. So you can choose if you want autoplay, if you want a pop-up box, if you want to enable full screen mode. Um, they let you choose your default video size, uh, different colors, all different options there. So you can look through that. Also on this page, they have the short code for embedding your video. So you can do it really simple with just the file name, or you can add uh, the width and the height, and they have some other, and they explain it all here, a lot of different options for customizing your video. It's really cool because this is free, Flow Player is free, and it's totally customizable. So let's just go with the most simple example. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this little short code so I can remember it. But basically it just says Flow Player SRC equals, and then you put in your file name. Now a lot of people think that these have to be flash videos, FLV, but they actually don't. In the example today, I'm gonna show you an MOV file. So it can be any type of video file will work with Flow Player. So again, I copy and pasted this little short code. Now I'm going to go to add a new post. And I'll just paste in my short code right here. Now I need to grab my file name where it says example.flv. That's where I put in the video file. So now that I've made my video public in S3, I'm going to go into properties. And now I have the link to link to this video. So I'm just going to copy and paste this link, copy the link, go back to my post. So where it says example.flv, I'm going to post in my video URL. And then of course, if you want to put here's my video or any other text above, or below the video, you can do that using your normal WordPress interface. So now I hit preview to make sure that it worked. And so I'm just gonna test the play button. Of course it didn't work because I'm doing a training video and you know, 
God forbid something works. So I'll show you how I would troubleshoot this, okay? So the first thing I would do is, okay, I wanna make sure that I made my video public. Okay, and then the next step I wanna do is to make sure that I got the URL correct. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna copy this URL again. Now I have this zoomed in so it's showing a little funky. So, okay, I think I know why this didn't work. I think it didn't work because this is showing up as a link. So I need to not make that a link, I think, for the code to work properly. I'm actually glad it didn't work because now you can see the troubleshooting process, which is an important part of making your website work. So I'm gonna go to save draft again. And then I'll hit preview again so that reloads. And I'll play my video. Hopefully it worked this time. We'll give it a second to uh, to load here. I think it's gonna work. Below this video, you'll see All a right. spot to enter your email. So it worked. So there's my post. I have my video embedded. Move this to trash. And again, I'm Laura Roeder. That's how you use the Flow Player WordPress plugin to embed any type of video onto your WordPress blog.